welcome to our check-in. My name is Kelsey, children's educator here at Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden. And this week we're gonna be checking in about fall leaves. Right now I am on the tree trail in the children's garden and I am walking on crunchy leaves that have fallen off of the deciduous trees on the trail. And so I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what those leaves do for the critters in the garden, why they're such a great and free resource in the garden. And also we're gonna be making leaf sun catchers. So we'll collect some colorful leaves that we find and make a fun fall decorative sun catcher for your window at home. So as you can see, we have a lot of leaf litter on the trail and it would be a lot of work to come out here with rakes and bags and rake and bag these leaves to send off somewhere else and also these leaves do a really important job in nature these leaves are a home for critters like salamanders and box turtles they also shelter woolly bear caterpillars and some other species of uh, moths will make their chrysalis or overwinter in the leaf litter. Queen bumblebees will bury themselves in the soil about one or two inches and the leaf litter helps to act like a blanket keeping um, her warm in the winter time. All of these Insects and critters feed birds that require insects to feed their babies in the early spring. If we take all these leaves away, we're taking away homes and food for the creatures in the garden. So we like to leave them here. Also, these leaves, as they break down and decompose, with the help of bacteria and fungi and other decomposers like worms, they are adding nutrients back to the soil for the trees and other plants to use as well. So as you can see, these leaves do a really important job and are important to the ecosystem. This year at home, maybe consider leaving the leaves where they are on the ground. Other alternatives are to rake them into a pile or compost for the leaves to be able to decompose. You can also chop the leaves up with a lawn mower um, to fertilize your lawn. And leaves actually make really great and free fertilizer for your lawn. I collected some leaves off of the trail on my walk and I liked to pick leaves that are different colors and shapes. And I also like to find a nice sturdy stick to tie the leaves to a string. So let's go see that. So once you've collected your leaves, you just need uh, your stick that you found, some scissors, a hole punch, and some string, and you're ready to start making your sun catcher. So I punched a hole in each of my leaves and tied them um, at varying lengths from the string so that they would all hang differently in the window. Another fun thing that you can do with leaves and a hole puncher is make some natural biodegradable confetti. And so if you hole punch the leaf and get a whole bunch of the little circles you can add those to your gifts uh, this holiday and they're really pretty and it looks like confetti thanks so much for checking in I hope you make some fun leaf sun catchers for your window and maybe try out some leaf confetti and also consider leaving your leaves this year for wildlife have a good week